Alright guys, today we're going to be taking on part 4, 5, and 6 of Shadow Battlefield, or at least that's the hope going into this video. We'll see if it's too hard for me and if I uh, am too dumb. I'm hoping not to spend a ton of time on this, right? I'm hoping it's not too, too crazy. But we'll see. 220,000, 260,000, and then 320,000. You get some pretty decent rewards from the exchange shop. One of them mainly being this free-to-play skill page, which is very nice if you did not get the summonable skill page because it still gives you the additional effect on Valkyrie Noah skill 2 if you did happen to pull her. So this is actually really helpful. Additionally, you're able to get some stuff to level up your skills for characters and whatnot and the enchantment stones and the re like everything here is actually just really, really good. So definitely worth doing this mode if you are able. I, with that said, I have not attempted part four. I obviously did parts one through three, but I feel like most people can do those. So I did not make a video on that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just attempt this and see how it goes here for part four. I don't even remember... Is this the team I used before? Uh, sure. Let's let's try a mono green team against it. Why not? I guess. Uh, what could what could it hurt? <laughs> let's see how it goes. This might not be the team to do it, but who knows? Maybe it'll work out for us. So we have the crab. They have counterattack. They have invulnerability, right? So we can't do anything to them at least for this first turn. That invulnerability is going to stop us. So that's fine. We will take the opportunity to give ourselves extra defense. And that's why I did bring along Charlotte and Vanessa, which is nice. We can give the Blessing and Protection as well. And we can give even more defense with Mariliona when we want to. I'm not going to worry about using my skill to... Well... Actually, maybe I will. I'll get my Hatred Stacks up. It actually kind of works to do this. Even though I'm not going to do any damage right there, right? I am able to get Hatred Stacks. Which is nice, which is going to allow me to nuke when I am able to do damage. And I'll give more damage reduction as well. Our team is just going to be very tanky here have some healing, have barriers, we're going to be okay, right? And Noelle's invulnerability is gone, and after that the crabs should be two, now we have all of them to fight, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just give the status element immunity to Fauna, alright, and now we're going to go ahead and give, do we even need to, we can use skill one here actually, we don't need to do anything special, we'll save the invulnerability in case we end up needing it. Ooh, it gave me my skill 2 back right away. So I could probably just nuke with my ultimate, but I'm going to go ahead and skill 2. Get that burn going, get more stacks of hatred, right? That's going to help me out in the long run in terms of doing damage. And then the combo skill could inflict burn. And mm, do I want to taunt them to fauna, though? That is the question. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and inflict the burn. It's fine. That burn could end up helping us in the end. So now she's taunted. Got taunt removal. It's fine. Not a big deal. We are fine. We got so much damage reduction. We're... Holy crap. Okay. Well, I thought we were fine. Um, this. All right. Let's see what they do. We're okay still. They got counterattack. And they got invulnerability. Okay. That's annoying. Goodbye, Charlotte. So now we have to wait one more turn. Let's go ahead and give the invulnerability now to Fauna. All right. And we skill two. Uh, the crab still had... Have I been calling him a frog? I feel like I've been calling him a frog. But the crab still had a vulnerability, which is why I didn't use my uh, ultimate there. Let's go ahead and taunt her. But it's not going to matter because she'll probably win the taunt. All right, his invulnerable's gone. Okay, she actually did hit her, which is good. Let's give the blessing and protection. And she should be going right here. Let's see if we can nuke now. That's the goal. Come on, Fauna. 284,000, still not enough damage. Holy crap, it might be better to actually run Black Asta here. In that case, if Fauna is not doing the job. Because I expected her to do a little bit more. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset. We're going to try this with Black Asta. All right, here's the team I'm going to attempt to use. I think this will work out a little bit better. Buff Asta, debuff the enemy, and use uh, blah, 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 Witch Queen to try to lower Black Hostess health. Hopefully, hopefully this will work for us. I think it will. That would be the goal. If it can get me through Hall of Illusions, hopefully it can get me through this. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we'll still have the invulnerability. We won't be able to do it right away, right? It's fine. Uh, we will get this going. Okay, the counter attack is fine. They got the debuffs on them, right? And now we will go for this on Black Asta. Intense Sunlight, increase all attack. And we will go for... Uh, yeah, this will be fine. It'll be okay. Okay, we counterattack. It's fine. Everybody's still alive. And we'll go for the defense up. 
All right, and we're still looking okay. Now, who's she gonna target? That is the question. And then we're gonna make a new person. Okay, good, good, good. We want to incapacitate now on somebody. We'll probably do it on Valkyrie Noel here. All right, so she's incapacitated. We'll do this to do weapon enhancement. And we'll put him into his anti-magic. And now we are just gonna ult Valkyrie Noel. That is the goal here at least. Boom, okay, she's dead. So that makes it a little bit easier. Defense up. Now we just have to deal with this guy, but like really he's not gonna really kill anybody. That this guy might. Uh yeah, that hurt a lot. But we're back into anti-magic, so that's he has invulnerability. It is what it is, right? Uh, we can't do anything about that. He's going to counterattack when we attack him no matter what. So might as well put the debuffs on him. As long as Black Asta survives, we are we're chilling. We go like this. Alright, and he's going to do the same thing again. Is what it is. And he still has the invulnerability. That's fine. Go like that. Everybody's still alive somehow. Alright, invulnerability gone. Now we can go ahead and do this. And we can give the weapon enhancement. Is he still? Okay, everybody's still alive somehow. <laughs> we'll use our skill too. And we'll do the AoE. Alright, we gave more defense to everybody. We need Asta to have anti-magic. It's a little bit annoying. He was just barely above anti-magic. Now he's in it, of course, but he was out of it right there, which is annoying. And the counter-attack while you're invulnerable is just, like, aids <laughs> the way they built this, but, uh, okay. Like that. And another counter-attack. We're still okay, though. We killed the biggest threat, realistically. Alright, everybody's still alive. Hanging on by a thread. Alright, and now it's our time to strike again. Let's use the incapacitate. Alright, and we'll give the weapon enhancement. Alright, he's we need to stop skill one with Charlotte or with uh, Witch Queen, but I can't I can't help it. Uh okay, I need to save her skill too. That's why I'm going wrong. I'm just making double six. Don't do what I did. Okay, I should, everybody should survive realistically. I'm just dragging this out though. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I'm making this a lot longer than it needed to be. Uh, we go like this. Counter attack, yep. Luckily his damage hasn't been increased as that's gone, so that's, that's something that noteworthy, I suppose. We'll go like this. He is an anti-magic. We need to use skill one here. All right, there we go. Now that we use skill one, now we'll be able to use skill two later on and we'll heal him. So he should still be an anti-magic. Or not. <laughs> I was going to say in this upcoming turn, but maybe not. Uh, okay, we do this. Alright, they finally died. We do this. Eventually, eventually he'll get his shot, right? That would be the idea. More defense. Alright, we are still alive. We have our our ultimate coming up. This is unbearably long. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I'll come up with a better strategy for the next four. I, because this one probably won't work on the next four, <laughs> realistically. Uh I think I need to run people who give Witch Queen back her SP. I think that will work maybe a little bit better. I don't need to worry about debuffing as much as what it seems like. At least in my opinion after doing this. Uh we'll just ult here so he's taunted. Okay, now he's taunted. Not that it matters. Uh, we can finally do this. We should have the AoE with Asta to do the anti-magic. And we should win right here. Ideally. Okay, so let's do this. I might be able to do the AoE with Asta as well. And just kill all three of them. I don't know if I did that the right way. But hey, that, that is that stage cleared. Okay, so that's done. We'll try taking on the next stage. Uh, I'm going to switch up the team a little bit. All right, so this is the team I want to try. We have uh, two SP characters. We have a healer. We have a damage reduction. We have another healer. Like, uh, hopefully it works out. Asta will be our main damage, obviously. So wish me luck. This is stage five, by the way. 
So, 200, level 220 on them. They saw the invulnerability and all that stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this to begin with. Give the damage reduction. Then we're going to go ahead and do our skill 2. Okay, that's fine. And now we will do... Probably want defense penetration for Asta, right? Because this will grant him defense penetration level 3. Ignores 30% of the defense, so we probably want to give that to Asta. And then we can let him... Oh, man, it's such a pain because we want him to have that extra defense to be able to nuke. I'm going to see how much he does without the extra defense first. So I feel like I'm going to need that extra defense to be able to nuke, though. But I want him to have the AoE when I need him to have the AoE, so we'll see how it goes. All right, and then the crab's gonna create the clone. Now we should be able to do everything we need to do, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna save our skill two for Witch Queen, so we're gonna go like this. All right, now we're gonna do the uh, move here and get the anti-magic going. All right, and now what do we wanna do? Let's use the combo. The combo is going to give SP, so that'll be nice. Okay, increased SP. And now we'll do the AoE. Let's see how much damage we do with anti-magic. 248,000, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. So maybe I was right to do the increased defense to do the nuking. Okay, well, that is what it is, I suppose. Not much we can do about that. We are still in anti-magic right now. So that's something, I suppose. They have invulnerability back up. We need to give her back her special. Yep. As soon as possible. Here comes an ult. It is on Asta. Asta is still alive. So that's a win. I'm gonna do this. Now he's healed too much. <laughs> a little bit annoying. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Um We'll do a good old skill one right here. And we'll do the damage reduction. Yeah, that's fine. She didn't do much damage there. We'll do this. She's so close to having the ultimate. I wish we had had another turn with uh, one of these other characters to go before, because then she could add the ultimate right there for Black Asta. It's okay though. Um, let's do, 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 do this on Charlotte. Just make sure she stays alive. Then we'll get the extra defense now, I suppose. All right, extra defense for the team secured. And now, hopefully, when we get anti-magic again, I can just nuke Valkyrie in a while, I guess. Um, who do we want to use this? Let's use it on her. That way she has her ult if we need the res. Alright, they are still both invulnerable for right now. Alright, now her invulnerability should be gone. We can get the anti-magic going. Oh, we already have the anti-magic going, actually. This is probably a waste of a wall. Uh, I should have looked carefully, <laughs> more carefully. Uh, we will have to use the combo skill here. So that we don't accidentally heal Black Costa. And now we're going to ult. Okay, she's dead. Nice. That's really good. Give her back her thing. Alright, so now Witch Queen is getting closer to having her ult up again. We will use our skill one here. Yeah. All right, Black Asta is healed. Yeah. And we'll do the, yep, extra defense, sure. That's fine. Everybody's fine, because we have the extra defense. We're, we're good, we're looking good, everybody's still healthy. We can do the damage reduction, why not? He's going to be coming back up soon. It might help if we had like a speed character give us more speed so we got extra turns while he's not invulnerable. I think we'll still get it done this way. This is just probably the really long way of doing it. Um, That's fine though. Mm, do, do, do. We're really close to having... We're really close to having the anti-magic again. Let's do the healing on her. We want to make sure she stays alive, right? Okay, so she's back to full. Mimos is just so insane. Okay, we do this. And we'll do... Let's give this to her. Yep. Right, we need 
the invulnerability to go away here soon. Okay, invulnerability, invulnerability is gone. So that's that. That's nice. We'll do this. Alright, everybody's still alive. That's good for right now. Uh, we don't want to heal necessarily, so we're gonna go like this. And now we can do the, ooh, we could actually just probably do the AoE and get this over with. Uh, well, actually, he'll disappear, right? Anyway, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right, that one's dead. And we can actually just do this again. <laughs> nice, there we go. Now things are coming together. Now things are going the way you want them to. Uh, we'll just skill one here. That's fine, we'll go like this. We have introduction. So he's not going to disappear if you kill the other. Okay, interesting. Maybe I should have just done the skill too. Maybe it would have been quicker that way. It's fine though. Everybody's still fine. Uh, we are in anti-magic, so we'll just kill. Thanks to this little tornado, it puts us automatically into anti-magic, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll do this. Yep. back in the anti-magic. He just sets you at a certain amount of health. It's so crazy. Okay. Well, it's not really hard after you killed the other two, I guess. So there you go. There's a strategy for the stage five. Okay. That was not as bad as I thought it would be. That This team seems to work pretty well. Uh, it does take a minute, but I guess if people have these characters and they've been struggling to beat it, there you go. Now we just got part six left to try. You get a frame for it as well. Okay. Neat. So let's hop in, see how it goes, see if we can do it again. I feel like we can do it again. I feel like there's probably a way to do this in like three turns and I'm doing this definitely the harder way, but personally, I haven't looked up any guides. This is my own guide. This is how I'm doing it. So I'll, I'll try to figure out if uh, there's a better way to do it. But for right now, the first time ever doing it, it's not too terrible. Uh, we'll go like this. You have introduction, right? And we, do we want to get anti? No, we don't want to get anti-magic early. We learned that last time, right? We want to be able to get the defense up. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do the healing on him. Give him that penetration early. Right? Increase the defense of the team. So now we have damage reduction and increased defense. So we should be okay. Everyone looks to be relatively alright right now. If I had a skill 2 cooldown on him, that would be pretty nice right about now. Uh, let's give this... Uh, not to anyone, actually. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. I was thinking about doing it on herself. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to save it like I did last time for Witch Queen. And we're all set to that amount of health. I didn't even have to use the anti-magic yet. So, okay, that would be... So we're going to wait. Um, No, he is. he's back out of anti-magic. Dang it, man. We healed him too much. Okay, I guess we are going to use anti-magic. I was like, we're going to wait and then just do back-to-back anti-magic attacks, but I guess not. Uh... I can't use my combo because we're taunted, so we're gonna end up healing him. That's annoying. Does it heal him too much? It did. It did heal him too much. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. It is what it is. Not much I can do about that. Alright, we go like this on which one now. Alright, let's see what happens here. Who's she gonna try to kill? Alright, it was Black Oster. She put him into anti-magic, actually, to be fair. So we'll take that. That's not terrible. Uh, we are gonna, He's already backed. He's healed too much again. We have too much healing. We're too good. Uh, combo? Question mark? Yeah, we'll do the combo. Alright, now I guess we increase our defense again. Because why not? I guess, I guess that's what we do. <laughs> Give extra damage reduction here. We're not taking damage at least, that's one thing that we... I need a chance to nuke Noel. And I'm just waiting for that chance at this point, I suppose. Hopefully we're able to do a decent amount of damage to her. Alright, we're back into anti-magic, but... Witch Queen is gonna go before Asta, which is the problem. That's where it gets annoying, right? Alright, uh... Boom, 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 we go like that. All right, so now she at least is able to give him anti-magic again if we heal him too much. And he's not healed, okay. Uh, so this should not heal, ideally, right here. 
All right, we're okay. He's still an anti-magic. That's beautiful. Uh, we want to use this on a specific person. We'll use it on Charlotte here. Yeah, Asta's still an anti-magic. Beautiful. Okay, let's ult. She is almost dead. That's great. That is really good. Okay. Um, now we go like this. Yep. And she'll have her ult back up for the next turn. She has her turn. Who's she going to attack? Is it Asta? Okay, he's actually okay. I was going to say we have the res if we need it, but he's actually all right. So that's fine. Um, combo attack. All right, and we don't need to do the AOE because he's already, but we might end up healing. Um, hmm. I guess we just do this. It'll probably heal him too much. Let's see what happens. Yep, it healed him too much. <laughs> uh, it's a never ending cycle. All right, he's low again, so we do have that going. We have the extra defense. We have the extra damage reduction now. We're still looking all right. I need to. I need to heal Witch Queen here in a second with Mimosa. If I, well, I'm gonna have to. It's gonna heal her, no matter what. So that's fine. And we'll do the anti magic now. All right, that looks decent. We're gonna do this because we're gonna need that. We might need the res here in a second. Uh, hopefully not, but you never know. We might. We have anti magic. Let's see if we can kill now. Okay, she's dead. One problem out of the way. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Just takes a million turns. Let's go ahead and we will heal Witch Queen here. Alright, Asta is still on anti-magic right this second. He has a mobility though, so we can't do anything about that. Is what it is for that one. Let's do this. And our attack is not a big deal. We want to make sure we do the heal right now, right? So it's not actually doing much healing. Oh man, maybe I... Yeah, he has invulnerability. We're fine. Okay, we do defense up. That's fine. This is actually the way we wanted to do that. I was trying to remember the way I wanted to do that. That is the right way. We go for the res. Alright, so she's res now. And we go for... Do, do, do. Let's put it on yourself. Yep. Alright, I'm worried, a little bit worried about Mimosa, but we're okay. She, He just set our health to a certain amount. We are now in anti-magic. Let's go ahead and ult. Okay, Crab is dead. Uh, and I think at this point we have pretty much done it. Okay, so that's the order you want to do the attacks in. Uh, there's probably a better way to just AoE nuke once again. I just haven't found it yet personally. But this seems to work pretty well for me, as you guys have seen. If I lose this now after like acting like it's over, I'd be so sad, but I don't think that happens at this point. Uh, let's just do the sweep. Very nice damage. Give her back one of hers. All right, which queen is now back to full special points. And we'll put him into anti-magic. One way or the other, he's gonna be have anti-magic coming up here. And dead. Easy peasy. And that was stages or difficulties That's four, five, of and box. six of the Shadow Battlefield. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. It took me a little bit of trial and error there at first, but it, it worked out. Um, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed. That did take a lot of time though. That took a whole lot of time. <laughs> Way more than I, I'd probably have liked. But hey, uh, at least after, you know, you've beaten it once or twice it's not too bad okay and you do get really nice rewards for it once again these are the rewards they're pretty good i am you know if you can get a couple copies of the skill page definitely worth it because that is a pretty good free to play skill page in my opinion let me know your guys' teams down below for shadow battlefield if you guys have a better team obviously there's probably better teams this was my literal first playthrough so hopefully it helps you out if you're struggling and if you're not struggling and you have a better team drop that below to help other people out and if you guys enjoyed the video please consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.